uh, hold on. So, the last time when we left off, we created a little puzzle, we created a small little grammar, and we created a grammar to identify multiple functions as well as a function, uh, multiple functions. This is our bison file, and this is our lex file. So for today, we're going to be enhancing our grammar so that the program can just do stuff, and it's not just an empty function. It's not a bunch of just empty function. Not a bunch of empty functions. So I'm just going to create statements. Uh, it's going to be statement and statements, just like that. And we're going to say that a statement is going to be, uh, let me think, let's create a token, uh, print, uh, print, uh, left print, let me think, and it's going to be print, left print, right print, so, and it's going to be end. We're going to have something like ID. No, we're going to have something like a variable. A variable is going to be, uh, no, variable, lowercase, is going to be ident or number. So we're just going to have variable like that. And so what this grammar, what I'm saying in statement, is that a statement could be either something like print A, or maybe it could be print zero, just like that. Uh, what I'm gonna do is gonna add semicolon. So this is gonna be also allowed to be empty. So I'm just going to add add all, a lot of print statements. So let's see. statements. And in here, we're going to say we're just going to say that a statement is a print print variable print. And in here, we're going to say print up a variable is going to be an ident, it's an s, and over here we're going to say all number s, error messages what you can define is find plus error plus both like that and that will give a lot better error messages and I unexpected I didn't expect oh because I need to actually change the lex file a little bit so yeah I need to put print
Oh yeah, because I need to put it uh, some coin to lock some. Uh, semi colon. Yep. So there we go. So right now we are able to parse a single print statement. So if I add more print statements, then it should be able to. I don't. It should be able to handle multiple print statements like this. And yep, as you can see, it parses through the entire program. It's able to print multiple print statements.